I have several YouTube channels and uh, so I use some video editing software uh, to, to finish them and make them look presentable. Uh, over the years I've kind of uh, focused on a couple but now I have found DaVinci Resolve and I think I have 19 and it's amazing it's great uh, I'm learning it so uh, there's I can't give you any tutorials on it uh, I'll show you a little bit of me playing around with it uh, so you can get an idea of the interface and uh, the many things you could do with it uh, but it's free though there's a paid version for just under three hundred dollars uh, that has more uh, depth that you could do with it uh, I'm I'm not at that point yet where uh, I require that kind of detailed video editing but for what I need it appears DaVinci Resolve is uh, great uh, so let me let you come along with me take a look at some of the stuff on it um, watch what it looks like and um, I highly recommend it. Uh, I have one other video editor I'm going to stick with and that's uh, Microsoft ClipChamp. And the reason is it's just really simple. Uh, it may not have all the bells and whistles, uh, but it certainly has enough where I could do many, many videos just using uh, Microsoft ClipChamp. And it's also really simple to use and very intuitive. Uh, DaVinci Resolve my early take on it is uh, you could do so much with it um, that uh, I am looking at every tutorial I can get my hands on uh, to best understand how to use it uh, especially when I provide videos for you guys uh, to take a look at so uh, follow along with me and see what you think <music> I thought you'd like to see me actually putting this video together. Uh, so this is DaVinci Resolve here. Uh, and the key things I found uh, are on the bottom here. You have uh, your main menu really. Uh, so your media, uh, your cut, which makes it easy to cut. And, uh, get rid of some uh, some items. Edit, of course. Uh, Fusion, color, Fairlight, which I've really used a lot for audio, and deliver, of course, being how to deliver uh, or export uh, the product. Anyway, let me show you this one. What I wanted to do here was uh, number one is I'm at the very beginning, uh, so you could see here. My original track is I just uh, used artificial intelligence uh, and uh, had to create a, a, a vision of a person like me using uh, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so I took that picture, which is here on this particular track right here. And then I went over and I went to my titles and I decided I wanted a comic title and I could have used others as you could see here but anyway I used the comic uh, title and then once I had selected that uh, I went up here to an, a thing called inspector and inspector let me under transform it let me uh, change the size uh, crop it uh, put it in a position I wanted etc uh, and so that is what I did so that's how I did that so that was really artificial intelligence uh, I picked a title uh, that I wanted to use I put my words into it and off I was on I was going and then I uh, decided I wanted to learn how to do picture in a picture uh, so here I am down here and so what I did is I recorded a video uh, using in this case it was my built-in Windows uh, camera app uh, so I did a video and you could see here in the actual video I was pretty much uh, uh, full size or whatever the right words were and I added a track 
So I should have mentioned I created tr on track two is where I put uh, the uh, uh, title. And then here, track three uh, is where I did my picture in a picture, as you could see it here. And again, under uh, transform, uh, I was able to make it smaller. So I took that, uh, I cropped it. And you could see here the settings that I used for cropping. And then after it was cropped, I could do this thing called softness because I was thinking I was going to make it more into a circle. So I did, uh, and you could see it changing there as far as the softness is concerned. And I could have put a frame on it or whatever. But anyway, so I made that. Uh, and I took uh, that and using this thing here called transform, which allowed me to both crop and transform it into here. So now I had my main photo. Uh, I had my title and I had what was going to be in my case my picture in a picture that I was able to put here uh, so you're able to watch and uh, and hear me uh, explaining a bit about Da Vinci so this is the most basic uh, first steps in what I was doing and uh, so in my media pool you could see what I've got is, by the way, uh, I created uh, this title and put it in. So I have, a, here's my intro. Uh, then I have my Lost in the 60s little lead-in video here. There is what I call the thumbnail, which of course is what uh, I put my, uh, my title on here. And um, that's that's it uh, at this point. So I thought you guys might be interested in seeing how this comes together. And as I learn Da Vinci uh, and simple things, because I, I frankly uh, it, it, I try not to get into anything that's very uh, uh, cumbersome or very difficult to learn. So this is the very beginning. But look at that, and uh, uh, I, you could see here I have several YouTube channels. And uh, how it works. So I see use me some down video there. editing uh, software. You saw uh, to that uh, to finish them and title, make them look and I can make the title as long or short Over the as years, I want. I've kind of I might make uh, it a little bit longer because of uh, the yeah, length of this. Now I have found. And why don't I do that right now? So let me go back to the beginning, and here we are, and let's make this last a little longer. How's that? And uh, then. I think I'll come over a bit here. Uh, and the next thing I'll do is why don't I show you a bit of a transition into uh, here. Well, guys, there's the most basic uh, from somebody that doesn't uh, uh, obviously have a tremendous a lot of talent in this area of video uh, editing. Anyway, I wanted to show you the very beginning of me putting together uh, a video and uh, from time to time if it's okay I'll show you uh, a few more of these as I learn how to use uh, uh, the software but uh, DaVinci Resolve for me uh, seems like just a dynamite uh, a product so uh, thanks for, as always guys for watching.